Believe it or not, Crop Tour Scouts did happen across a few combines starting harvest in Nebraska. Meanwhile, in Louisiana, corn harvest is near the halfway point. LSU Ag Center's Craig Gotro reports. With the calendar saying August, it's not unusual to see combines racing through fields of Louisiana farmland. Corn farmers started harvesting their crop at the end of July, and while the yields are good, the yields won't be as good as last year. Our average state yield is going to be down this year, uh, mainly due to hot and dry conditions that the corn crop uh, you know, went under this year. Uh, you know, that plant took a lot more energy to sustain itself uh, due to these hot and uh, stressful conditions. Those hot and stressful conditions cause farmers to irrigate their crops often. We were so hot and dry this year, as soon as, as, soon as you turned the pivot off, it was time to turn the pivot back on. Corn requires a significant amount of nitrogen fertilizer, and the price for that fertilizer was extremely high. This led to at least a 10% reduction in acreage. Last year we had around 560,000 acres of corn. This year we're, we're right below that 500,000 mark. So acres did, you know, uh, drop and we lost a good bit of acres to beans. Uh, however, our cotton acres did increase this year. Foster says farmers should not burn the stover left over after the harvest because they are losing organic matter and valuable nutrients. 100% of your nitrogen is lost when burning around 80% of your sulfur, uh, as well as your potential to lose your P and K. The hot, dry conditions reduced disease issues, so very few farmers had to apply fungicides during the year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. All right, thanks, Craig. And don't forget to join us online at 2.30 Eastern, 1.30 Central, as Pro Farmer releases its production estimates. That's all the time we have this morning. We're sure glad you tuned in from all of us here at Ag Day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.